Saturday, March 24th, and we finally have some really nice weather this morning. Believe it or not, we're supposed to possibly, well, get rain for sure, but possibly sleet and snow tonight. So we gotta really move on this project today. So we did get up these boards all down, well, most of the way down the sides. We've got them tied in over here in the corner. A challenge we're still having at this point is, is that we got the spring locks, but the company messed up the order shipping pretty badly. And we don't know where the spring lock bases went. And in the time that that happened, they are now back ordered. And they're trying to get us some sent directly from the manufacturer to us. But that's going to delay. Obviously, we can't put the plastic on without the spring lock bases uh, to secure it onto the greenhouse. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But we can keep doing a lot of stuff inside of here and get all the doors, end walls, everything else done. And then really, once, the, once those show up, the plastic can go straight on and secure it. And the greenhouse is basically done. So we're going to really try and move today. We'll try and get as much video as we can. But um, anyways, here we go. Of course, the rain is coming earlier than we expected, so we're trying to get back in here and close up some of these pipes in the ground. So for this transition from the corrugated pipe coming out of the ground, um, we're gonna use these fittings, which if you go to Lowe's, this is in the sort of irrigation section near the plumbing section. So this actually snaps onto and has clips, you can see that'll snap onto the pipe. I'm using schedule 20 pipes. I mean, there's no need to pay for schedule 40. You know, stuff's not gonna be under pressure. It's just moving air. They will fit uh, perfectly on here. So the way we're gonna do this, it'll sit, sit down on, we'll go over and then come up the pipe. Show more in just a second. One of the things we're gonna do real quick is, is to take the jigsaw and try and cut out um, sorry, on this side, we're going to cut out this inner ring just to open this up. It'll give us about another half inch in diameter all the way around of airflow that won't be restricted if we cut that out. So we're just going to take the jigsaw and try and run this down inside of here and go around and see if we can get that out. Melted, melted plastic. <laughs> it melted back together. Opens it up a little bit. Uh, opens this up a little bit more. But these snap inside of here, and they'll snap all the way up into this point. And then uh, you can sort of then you can seal the other piece on here. And as best I could figure, that's the this is the best option that's not going to lose a lot of airflow, you know, or constrict down really tight to transition from these to PVC. So we got the connector cut, dug down and then cut and got this connector down onto the pipe. One thing that you do need is ABS to PVC cement, transition cement to go from the black ABS plastic to the white PVC. So we'll go over there and uh, stub up. Next thing we're gonna do is, because this is the pipe going all the way down to four feet to the bottom of uh, the, the earth battery that we dug all the way down. So if we do get water going down, at least to the lowest level, uh, and should, let's say, it flood for some reason, we decide we're gonna go ahead and put a clean out in. It's just as easy to use one of these, a test valve that you stick into the clean out and then you just thumb screw this down and tighten it. But we'll have this in the corner so that if we ever do need to, we can just run a hose, you know, down into the bottom of the earth battery. 
uh, pump any water out of there at some point. So, I mean, for the cost of putting this in, figure it's good insurance uh, for that purpose if we need to, to get down and pull out any water. So this is the return vent for the two foot layer coming up on the other side. Got both of these sides in. Rain is already starting to come. It's kind of mixed sleet, snow. So we're gonna get these packed back in with dirt and that's probably gonna be it for today. And we did get all the rest of the lumber to finish the end wall. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow we will get this finally completed down here. That'll be it for today. We'll pick it back up tomorrow. In North Carolina, they say, if you don't like the weather, wait a few hours and it'll change. So as you can see from early this morning, we got up, everything was covered with snow to now the it's partly cloudy, sun's mostly out, snow's all gone. So we're gonna get out and get back to work on the greenhouse. Well, this is gonna to have to be it for today. Again, not as far as we would have liked to have gotten. Some things are just kind of slow and we're taking our time doing it right. But we did get the rafters up, as you can see. So if we look at this, and you saw that uh, what we did was just cut in and left a half inch piece up on these posts and dropped them in, ran them up, and it tied all this together and straightened up all of these posts together doing that way uh, running kind of rafters up there and tying them all together it pulled all of these posts together into a nice straight line and then Isaac went and routed all of the edges we rounded these corners over a little bit just so that when the plastic comes around here we don't have any sharp edges that are going to pull or tear the plastic and then we got a double uh, spring lock base so there will be plastic that will come across here and with the wiggle wire spring lock uh, that'll hold the plastic on the the um, end wall of the greenhouse 
and then where the plastic comes over that's a separate channel in uh, the spring lock base that'll go on here so that will run right down the middle of these uh, these posts and uh, nicely hold there and well that'll be that'll be that we started tying together up at the top a two by four that'll go all the way down the middle sort of is like a, a ridge beam that's probably I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that yet but I'm probably gonna run some sort of post down off of that or some kind of board down off of that and onto that board is well a lot of things are gonna end up running up there I was gonna run electrical we need uh, plugs because where we're gonna put the fans which we'll see eventually is that the fans are gonna go up there and we'll plug them in up there and they'll pull air and push it down into the tubes. But then we also wanna have lights up here, et cetera. So some of that stuff is gonna end up going on to this piece. And other than that, this end is done. We got in some boards down here at the bottom. The part that we still don't have done is just to get a board in here and run up the the panel the sub feed panel that comes out to the greenhouse so i want to th they had it much lower down the previous owners had it much closer to the ground actually wanted up quite a bit or as high as i can get it given the length of the the wires that are pulled into it so we're going to move it over closer to the door which will hopefully get us a little bit more height and get it up higher off of the ground so i still need to figure that out and we were using a lot of power tools today so didn't have a chance to cut the power at the the main panel uh, in order to pull the wires i have to pull the wires back out of the subfeed panel run a new uh, conduit further down and up and then feed everything back through and rewire it that's it for this weekend on this part of the project so pretty productive we got the pipes in for the earth battery and have those stubbed over to the corners so we'll be able to run those up everything is tied the end wall is in so now it'll be pretty easy to get the door in here uh, and then start running some of the electrical out and then we're going to grade regrade in here get everything really nice and flat and probably still at this point think we're going to still do wood chips may change our mind on that and go with sand just as a base but we'll see haven't haven't decided and i think that's it we head into uh for christians the holiest week of the year so this is this is holy week with uh, holy thursday and good friday and then easter on sunday we have uh school ends tuesday so we'll get a little bit of work in leading up to holy thursday and then we're going to take some days off and so i don't know what will end up being on a video next monday easter monday i don't know what we would upload then but we'll get something uh, probably done. There'll be progress done. And then next week, uh, if assuming we get that spring lock base in, we really should, th there's nothing, I can't really think of anything that would keep us from finishing this greenhouse. So hopefully uh, in two videos from now, what people will see is a finished functioning greenhouse. We hope. <laughs> so, all right. I hope everybody had a great week, and I hope the week ahead is really a wonderful one for everyone. Until the next video from here at St. Isidore's Farm, happy Easter, and God bless.